Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. A few days ago I released a video about the potential for, you know, possible civil unrest, food riots even, happening in the United States due to some gridlock going on in our government right now. I was fairly uh, open from the beginning that I felt there were going to be a lot of negative comments throughout the video, uh, you know, in the comment feed, because you know, I was going to be fairly honest about the fact that I, yeah, you know, I, I don't feel that everything Donald Trump does all the time is 100% perfect. I was also, you know, fairly uh, uh, critical of what the Democrats were doing. I was kind of negative and disparaging all around of everyone. Uh, but you know, as is usually the case, and certainly it was the case with that video, the mo the people that tend to get most triggered are the people that you know really allied themselves emotionally with Donald Trump and you know everything that you know comes out of his brain. Uh, you know, those were all the, the really nasty comments, uh, and uh, it, some of them were actually written in language that was intelligible, uh, though not all of them. But, but uh, there, was a, there was a lot of backlash. Again, something in particular that I said that I felt that the wall was silly, stupid, foolish. I forget the word that I used, but I, I said that I didn't think the wall was a good idea. Uh, and, you know, I, I didn't really get into the why of any of that, because this channel is, it's a preparedness channel, it's a survival skills channel, a homesteading channel uh, you know I, I mentioned that for full disclosure just so I'd be like you know this is what I personally think so this is where I'm coming from but I didn't really get into explaining any of it uh, because again that's that's geopolitics that's not really what I'm talking about on this channel this channel is about the idea of you know whatever does come down the road for whatever reason it's coming down the road uh, you know how can you best position yourself for that how can you be more prepared for that so I didn't get into any of that but uh, there was so much pushback on it and uh, there was a kind of a common theme. I think there was a lot of like really like just bad thinking going on. Like there were a lot of people that said like, well, you know, prisons have walls and, you know, um, you know, my neighbor has a fence up and, you know, gated communities have walls and things like that. So, you know, it obviously works. A wall, you know, obviously works. So, you know, like how can you say that a wall isn't going to work? Uh, you know, just because something works in one context doesn't mean that it's it's proof positive that it's going to work in all contexts. I mean, for example, I mean, there are do not enter signs all over the place, you know, so why aren't we talking about like putting do not enter signs all along the southern border, you know, and being like, OK, we, we got it. I mean, they, they work at shopping malls, you know, so <laughs> so why wouldn't they work there? You know, obviously, just because something works in one case doesn't work, you know, uh, work in another. But that said, you know, um, uh, using analogs for things can be useful. And one one analog that kept coming up was that people were, were saying, well, Israel. Israel had this big issue with, uh, you know, people from the West Bank, some people from the West Bank, coming in and like, you know, just doing some terrible things in Israel, you know, you know, snipings, you know, I think all sorts of terrible things. And for the past like decade and a half plus, uh, you know, they had this wall kind of separating the West Bank from, uh, you know, Israel. And, and it has, you know, cut down on people crossing over that area. It, I mean, it's just logical that, you know, Having a barrier makes it harder to cross across an area than having no barrier. I mean, that's just logical. But when I said that I've, I felt that the wall was silly, foolish, stupid, whatever, what I mean is it's foolish and silly and stupid in terms of actually solving the problem. Uh, and the root of the problem isn't necessarily just the fact that people are crossing over. The root is something deeper. The root is something more than that. Um, but again, this isn't a channel where we talk about geopolitics and all that kind of stuff. This is a channel where we talk about like, you know, stuff that you can do on your own individual level. But thinking about it, a barrier is something that could come up on your own individual level, like in a crisis or a collapse or something like that. You know, let's let's make our own analog right now. Uh, and I'll make it fairly obvious. You know, you got your place and you know, maybe you set up a nice homestead and you got some neighbors to the south of you. Let's make it really easy. There's neighbors to the south of you and they're not as set up as you. And let's say the shit hits a fan and you know who's gonna be knocking at your door being like, hey, what do you guys have going on here? Things look like they're going pretty well. Can I, you know, can I be part of your, your group here? You know, you need any extra people? Like that kind of thing. Uh, you know, at that point, you are faced with kind of a decision. There's a number of different choices you could make. Most people would say, you got two choices, you know, <laughs> whatever. I, I guess maybe I'll talk about three choices, but I mean, there are an infinite number of choices beyond that. But here are some three, three basic choices you, that you could make uh, in that situation. And one of them would be to say like, uh, I don't know, which one should we go with first? 
uh, let's go with the nice one first, the friendly one first. You could be like, hey, you know, we're neighbors, you know, yeah, I, I could use some help. You could, you know, maybe your population is aging. Maybe you have a lot of older people and you could use some young workers that are willing to do really hard work. Does that sound familiar at all? I mean, the United States population without immigration is an aging population and that is a demographic problem for the United States. That could also be a demographic problem for a small homestead or compound or something like that. So, you know, you could be like, yeah, you know, you guys got a lot of young people, you know, I could use some work, you know, maybe we could work something out, work out a deal that's mutually beneficial for both of us. That's one option. Another option could be like, you could say, well, you know, maybe you want to ignore the fact that you have that demographic issue and you want to ignore the fact that you have an aging population. But, uh, but you recognize the idea that having a strong neighbor and ally is a good thing for you. Uh, you want to acknowledge that fact. So you'd be like, hey, you know, uh, we're kind of filled here. There's not a lot of extra room, but you know, why don't I help you guys make your place more functional? So you could go and you could help them, you know, get themselves up on their feet. And that would be beneficial to you to have a strong friend and ally to yourself uh, instead of like, you know, this, you know, group that's just not working very well. Uh, that would be another option. <clears throat> and the third option that I'll talk about, and again, there's options go on and on and on but the third option is you say get out of here I'm putting up a wall and you stay on your side and I'll stay on my side problem solved of those three options that I just talked about which is the worst of all of them which of the which of those options doesn't take advantage of any of the inherent opportunities of the situation the opportunity to improve your situation the opportunity to uh, you know improve their situation the opportunity to improve your situation by virtue of their situation being improved at the same time. Which of those solutions just ignores all the potential benefits of this whole situation and uh, just wastes a lot of effort putting up that wall? I mean, you're gonna have to take your time away from gardening and doing you know, whatever else you might wanna do at your place to put up this barrier. Uh, so in addition to the fact that you're throwing a lot of time and effort at putting this thing together to separate yourself, you're missing out on all the opportunities that are inherent in the situation. So that is why I felt that that was a that's a bad a, a bad solution to a problem that, in a lot of ways, isn't really a problem but an opportunity in disguise. So that's my answer to that. But again, this is not a channel where we talk about those sorts of geopolitical issues. We don't debate that kind of stuff here. I mean, we debate lots of ideas. If you have different ideas and different opinions, yes, you are absolutely welcome here. I love the back and forth with people, but it all has to be done in a civil, polite, uh, grown-up sort of a way, because that's the way that people actually exchange ideas, actually influence each other. Name-calling and all that stuff, that's, I mean, that's for kids in the schoolyard, babies, really. Uh, it doesn't really accomplish, I mean, I know on an emotional level, for the people that do it, it accomplishes something like, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I just, you know, wrote the nastiest thing to someone. It made me feel really good. But it doesn't, I mean, it didn't actually improve their situation at all. I mean, I guess, like, you know, the, the juices in their brain are giving them their, I don't know, their serotonin boost or whatever. I mean, so yeah, I guess it gives them that benefit. But beyond that, I mean, that's the extent of the benefits to them or anyone else around them. Really sharing ideas, even and especially when they are different and conflicting, that's when we all learn, that's when we grow and uh, can, can become stronger from it. So yeah, if you're a new person to the channel, welcome. Uh, I noticed there were a few new subscribers, so welcome to this channel. Uh, we're not all like-minded here. There are people from all over the place, but the one thing we have in common is that we exchange ideas in an open and, um, and respectful way with each other because it, it just, it works better that way. And that's how everyone learns and, and grows. I'm always learning from this channel. And, uh, and I think you can too, if you come here with an open mind, you know, and uh, share some ideas and, uh, and also receive some ideas. So that's it. Walls can work to do one thing, but is it the best way to do things? Usually not, I think, usually not, except in China. I did see the movie with Matt Damon and those walls did keep those giants out. So in that one case, I was proven wrong on that. What was that called? I think it was just called like the Great Wall or something. It wasn't the best movie. It was kind of neat to watch, but it wasn't the best movie in the world. <laughs> That's it. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.